preemptive power shutdown from Excel today. Excel did not pull the move that it did last month when high winds were in the forecast. Our Mark Salinger talked to a bunch of people in the power business and found that only Excel is willing to take that preemptive step. We are going to have high winds throughout the remainder of today and into tomorrow as well. Today was windy. Two, Check two. on two, okay. Bad enough to have Good press morning, conferences Adam. to warn people of the fire danger. We have some power lines down that are causing some spot fires. The last time it was windier than this, power was cut preemptively to thousands of XL Energy customers in early April. It took days for some to get it back. XL did it to prevent their power lines from sparking a fire. No one else seems to be willing to take that step. Unfortunately, no electric system is is going to be immune from damage. Jay Anderson works with Colorado with Springs Utilities. Wind gusts topped 80 miles an hour there today. Yet he says his company has no plans to start shutting off power preemptively on windy days. So we're handling a lot of these issues through switching, through remote operations to try to narrow down and, and shrink the amount of uh, customers who are out of power. Colorado has more than 50 separate electric utilities. That means more than 50 sets of separate rules and standards. There is no electric utility up and down the front range, other than Excel, planning on instituting preemptive power shutoffs because of wind. While some utilities will consider power shutoffs in the most extreme conditions, the vast majority do something that Excel also already does. If there's a problem on our system, a breaker opens and doesn't try to reclose. Like Excel, we found most companies will increase sensitivity on their power lines when it's windy. If power is lost, they'll send a crew out to inspect the line before turning it back on. It's an alternative to shutting everything down preemptively. These high winds can create unpredictable uh, situations, so be prepared for anything. So why does this all matter? If you see a meteorologist come on the news and they say, hey, we're gonna have 70 mile an hour winds next week. You might want to prepare. We could pass that along if we knew that an electric company will cut off power at a certain threshold. We can't tell you what that threshold is if you're an Excel customer. However, we can say that if you are not an Excel customer, you likely will not have your power shut off preemptively, Kyle. Right, that would be useful information because people could line up expectations with the forecast. I guess, why not today? If they have it in their toolbox, why not today? We asked Excel, they said that conditions didn't warrant it whatever that might mean. They didn't go into specifics on what those conditions that would warrant it is. Again, we don't know what that threshold is. If we did, we'd pass it along to you so that you could prepare. Well, Excel faced questions on that today. We're gonna get to that in a moment. Mark, thank you. First to